Hi there owls, welcome back to Joang Media, the channel where you can learn about testing, automation, technology and marketing. It's a pleasure to have you here again. Thank you very much for being watching this video. And today we're going to have a very interesting video. We're going to go uh, straight to the point about how to install Docker in your computer. In this particular tutorial or video, you're going to see how to install Docker in Windows. We have different options to install this in Mac OS or, or Linux. So, but, but in this particular video, we're, we will review how to install this in, in Windows. All right. So um, we're going to click on this uh, installation button and we're going to um, look at the documentation of Docker. Basically, uh, as you can see here, Docker is an open uh, platform for developing, shipping, and running running application. Docker enables you to separate your application from your infrastructure, so so you can deliver software quickly. With Docker, you can manage your infrastructure in the same ways you manage your, your applications. We're gonna have a different videos about Docker in the near future. So if, if you wanna uh, keep posted and, and, and well, be aware of more videos in this channel, please subscribe and let a like. So I'm gonna click on Docker uh, desktop uh, for Windows again, and I'm just gonna click on download from Docker Hub. So, it is uh, done and when uh, we're inside of this uh, or actually I am um, actually missing something it is important to remember the system requirements that we have in our computer because um, we need uh, certain things things that we have to make sure we have ready all right so the first thing is having a um, Windows Pro or Enterprise or education if we have Windows 10 home we have to come uh, to this particular website and click on install docker desktop on windows home it is a particular different uh, or different installation that we have to follow then th there is another thing that we have to make sure that we have enabled all right and it is hyper-v and containers window features must be enabled how we can uh, actually review if this is enabled basically come into the task manager all right we're, we're gonna take a look at the performance tab and inside of CPU, we're gonna see if virtualization is enabled. If it is not enabled, uh, well, we're gonna <laughs> have um, uh, a video inserted right now about how to um, install or actually enable virtualization in your computer. So um, let's go ahead, take a look of that, and then we're gonna come back and see the, the, the rest of the system requirements. All right, guys, I'm going to try to turn on my um, virtualization feature. All right, so I'm going to click on a uh, search and I'm going to click on system configuration. All right, so I'm I'm sorry, it is not the correct option. <laughs> it is actually settings. All right. Um, once I am inside of Windows settings, I'm going to click on update and security. Then I'm going to look for recovery and inside of recovery and I'm, I'm going to click on restart now. Um, I'm gonna just uh, actually stop the recording because my computer is going to be uh, rebooted. But I'm gonna try to um, show you how to turn on the the, um, the virtualization in the BIOS. All right, so let me try to record this with myself. <laughs> okay, so yes, give me a few seconds and see you soon. All right, guys, I was capable to, well, actually turn on the virtualization in my BIOS. So, well, it is going to be different depending on your motherboard because, uh, well, uh, all of them are different. However, in my particular case, the well, I had to click on advanced voltage over here. I'm sorry, advanced frequency settings, all right? Then I click on advanced CPU core settings. And inside of that, in uh, of that particular, um, well, uh, I'm not sure option. Yeah, I click on SBN mode, and I activated that. And when I had, or where, where, when I actually did that, well, I just saved the um, the configuration and well, reboot reboot my computer. It is important to come here and also activate something else inside of configuration. If I'm not wrong. Um, um let me just think about it <laughs> come system configuration might, might be no it is not let me just think about it because it was at um, well it is actually here turn windows features on or off all right you just have to come here and click on that option 
and then click on Hyper-V to get the, the virtualization uh, up and running, all right? Then you click on, on, on in OK, then reboot your computer and you will see that when you come here and watch and actually review the task manager at, at the, the performance uh, settings, you will see that the CPU is uh, available or actually the, bill is, the virtualization is ready or enabled. So that's the workaround that I have found if you wanna go ahead and install your Docker successfully. Well, we have now, uh, actually, uh, we have activated our virtualization feature. So, we have, if, if you remember, uh, we had to actually validate if we also have another requisite, which is have a 64-bit processor, all right? And a four uh, gigabyte system run. And actually, also validate if um, if the BIOS level hardware virtualization support must be enabled in the BIOS setting. And that's basically what we did a, a few seconds ago, right? So, and um, let me see. Mm, all right, yeah, I, th <laughs> I think that uh, we are we just have to validate uh, well the the um, how many gigabytes of RAM we have in our computer. So we just have to come here, this PC properties. And as you can see here, I have a 64 um, a system type. And actually I, I know that my processor has this infra the, the infrastructure or the requirements as we need. And also if you uh, see here, watch this, uh, I have six, uh, 16 gigabytes installed in my uh, computer. So it is fine by me and we can continue working on this. So. Um, once we know that, we just have to download the uh, that .exe file, right? So I'm gonna just click on that, download the, um, the Docker um, desktop uh, application, right? Uh -huh. I'm gonna click here, and as you can see, uh, the, the .exe file is gonna be downloaded immediately. So we're gonna uh, wait for a minute and, a, and, a, and or actually a few seconds more and see how to install um, Docker and uh, see how this is installed in Windows. Well, I have downloaded my exe file just to execute that. And I'm just gonna uh, go and click on that. I'm gonna accept, cause uh, well, we have to accept the, that we, we're gonna well, install Docker in Windows. And then we just have to click on the, um, well, actually check all of them if you want and then click on ok so it is gonna be a start uh, to install docker in your computer it is actually currently unpacking um, unpacking files all right and we're gonna see how um well it, it is actually a plain installation we don't have to do a lot of things we just have to wait <laughs> to be honest and um and see uh, how it is downloaded and installed actually and actually I have, uh, or actually I had that particular issue with the virtualization, uh, well, when, when it was disabled, um, well, I had to review and actually uh, look for different solutions and, well, it, it was a kind of headache, headache, however, right now it is available and you can uh, have a kind of guide uh, for solve that, I that issue if you have that in your computer. So. Let's see. It is gonna be um, installing for a few sec uh, for a few seconds more, and let's see if if well, it is installed correctly, and I hope so. <laughs> All right. As I told you before, please subscribe if you are not. If you wanna keep, a, um, if you wanna learn about software testing, about automation, about technologies, marketing, it is this is the moment that you can subscribe and let a like. It is gonna be a lot of help for me right now. If cause I want to keep growing, uh, the channel is going is going very well, and I hope that uh, well, a lot of people can. Um, get the benefits of uh, this kind of videos right so right now it is installing it is deploying components it, it is enable enabling the hyper-v window feature it is uh, installing the required windows components for wsl2 and um, and there it is uh, we have installed docker in our computer and the installation succeeded so as you can see it is requesting me to uh, restart Windows to complete the installation. So I'm gonna uh, stop the recording 
and let's see how this works after the restart all right well i have restarted my uh, restarted my computer and as you can see it is saying that docker uh, actually the wsl2 installation is incomplete so as you can see here it says that um well please click the link to follow the instructions to install the kernel update and then we have to restore it after installing the linux kernel so i'm gonna uh, go ahead and well follow the instructions right now i'm clicking on this uh, particular uh, link all right and i'm downloading the wsl update uh, msi file all right so i'm gonna uh, click on that and then um, install the um, this package right it is gonna install that it is finished it is now ready to be uh, or actually it was installed correctly and i think that i'm going to restart the computer again so see you in a few seconds uh, to see how this uh, ended and well as you can see after the last restart we have uh, or actually we have installed docker correctly it says that we can follow a um, well a, a tutorial however i guess that uh, if you are familiar with docker you don't need it and if you need it uh, you just you just have to well follow the instructions the instructions over here so i'm gonna get, uh, actually um, skip the tutorial and uh, probably in a future i'll be more than glad to bring you different videos about docker so i uh, probably if i run this command here you can see that docker is a uh, b it is gonna uh, return the version of the docker uh, that we have and probably if i look for docker images it is not gonna return anything because we don't have images right now installed or actually it uh, well deployed in our computer if i want to run a docker image just to uh, show you how if if everything is working fine i'm gonna just docker run hello world maybe and um it is gonna uh, well actually pull the the image from the from the repository and as you can see um well it has returned hello docker right now and if i probably look for uh, docker images you can see that we have an, a new image in our computer which is hello world so um that's it i guess that it was a very interesting um video about how to install docker it was very complete because we have uh, actually activated the virtualization mode or feature in our computer in windows in windows 10 and i hope that if you like that please subscribe and let a like it was an amazing video i guess i hope that you enjoyed it and thank you very much and see you in the next one bye bye